uh, very high performance graphics. And so in, in demonstrating Windows NT, uh, I asked one of our soft image experts uh, to come and, and give us a glimpse of what NT looks like on a Pentium Pro. Um, so Brad Hebert, uh, who's an expert in soft image, is going to demonstrate uh, here on a, actually a compact. Okay. Hi. Um, for those of you not familiar with soft image, it is the high-end 3D computer animation software that's created everything from the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park to effects in the mask and Casper, as well as um, Shell's gas stations dancing gas pumps on TV commercials. And until recently, we really only had, like you mentioned, one choice in hardware, and that was silicon graphics. There simply weren't computers with enough power and software or operating systems with enough depth to really allow us to um, run this kind of software. And being that silicon graphics really had a corner on the market, they, they took full advantage of that fact. Um, charging upwards of $40,000 for an entry-level computer system to run this on. But uh, that's about to change, because what we're looking at here is something that's got my industry absolutely buzzing, and that is um, Soft Image running on Windows NT. Here we're running on a um, compact uh, P6 uh, proprietary box here that they're building with um, uh, an Excel graphics card. So this is one of their prototype boxes. Let me show you part of what the system can do but it shows you how, how the computer can do a lot of animation. Here we've got a little uh, kangaroo character. We've got him animated to go jumping across the screen. We've noticed we've keyframed him, we've animated him jumping, and I've got the, the skeleton and the tail highlighted. Now, what I can do is let the computer animate this for me. I've assigned some gravity and some wind, and then of course the, the motion from the character itself, and I can say, let the computer figure out, based upon all these variables, how the kangaroo should move. So that's what it's doing right now. Right now. So do I have like the coolest job in the world or what? I mean, this is what I do. <laughs> so you play that back. There we go. The scene actually looks like that once it's rendered. So as you can probably gather from looking at this, this is really the most computationally heavy part of, of the process. Probably 60 to 70 percent of your time is spent letting the computer crank out and, you know, render these images. Well, this is where some animators and I really wanted to put NT to the test. So when we first got our hands on one of these boxes, we set um, about a $17,000 NT box next to my $40,000 SGI. We put the identical 10-frame anim animation on each computer and started it rendering. Now, my hope was if we could get 70% of the performance out of the box that was half price, we'd be set. It would be great. Um, well, what actually happened is when the NT box finished, the SGI was only halfway done. We literally were getting half the, or twice the performance at half the price. So, I think that fact in and of itself serves as an example of how Windows NT and these type of workstations are really going to change, literally change the way effects are done for movies, films, and television. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Brad.